Oh my God, the Nine of Swords. <laughs> okay, we got the Three of Cups. We got Sagittarius energy, Cancer energy, Gemini energy, Scorpio, Scorpio, Cancer. Hmm. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, 10-4. Okay. <laughs> you're about to be pissed at somebody, okay? You're either pissed at somebody right now or you're about to be. No, you're already pissed at somebody, okay? I, I feel like you, you either cut somebody off or you're about to cut somebody off because this is freaking stressful as hell, okay? Somebody was not expecting you to be so strong, to be so bold, like your cutoff game is strong so somebody is shocked somebody is looking at you like are you for real like yeah i'm for real i'm not gonna tolerate your bullshit this seems like somebody threw you some bullshit and you were like you know what i've had enough i'm done i've had enough this is just i'm i'm better than this i'm more worthy than this i deserve more love than this there's definitely third party energy on the table. There's lots of stress, worry, and anxiety. So this feels like your person is also afraid. If you haven't found out yet, they're like, I'm afraid you're going to find this information out. So like for some of you, this is like your current person and you've either caught glimpse, glimpses or you have a strong intuitive hit. There's something about you that knows that this person has done something shitty as far as the third party goes, two, 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 and they are guilt ridden. They are guilt ridden. There is so much guilt and guilt is, and they're just, they're afraid of being caught. This person is afraid of you finding out the truth and being caught straight up. That's what it feels like here. Okay, this person has a lot, a lot of unresolved trauma from their childhood. This could be how their parent treated people or like an uncle or an aunt treated people. And so they adopted the same behaviors thinking that it was okay. It could also be like they have a, a shitty friend group. Honestly, it could be a shitty friend group when they took bad advice from a friend. Uh... And that led them down this road of losing you, being disconnected from you. Like, that's kind of crazy, for real. All right, let's get clarifiers on this energy. They, d they can't stop thinking about you, thinking about what they did. It feels like this third party situation meant nothing. That's what I'm hearing. Like, this means nothing. It meant nothing. It was one of those. And I know it's not an accident for sure, but... Eh. Like, what if there was drinking, or like if they went to visit their hometown and an ex girlfriend was there? These are not excuses. Just for the record, like, I'm getting pissed. These are not excuses. It's just things that I feel like are coming through, like they would be saying, or like they're reasoning. Like, like when the mind is overthinking, like it's filling with stuff, right? Whether the, the stuff is true or not true. Like, I, there's lots of confusion here, too, that's for sure. Let's get more cards on the table. Because we don't want to get any of their confusion over here. But I'm really sorry that you're going through this, first of all. The Knight of Swords. More air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh my god, they're all in reverse. Aquarius. Oh my god, the Nine of Swords again. Gemini. Oh my god, the King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Holy shit. And the Five of Cups, that's Scorpio. There's the Ten of Swords at the bottom. Every card except for this one that came out is air sign. That is wild. That is freaking wild. And this is water sign. So this is some, they got in their head, they were definitely head over heart, head over heart, which was not the right decision, was not the right decision. Yeah, they took bad advice. This person took some bad advice from, and it's like their environment, it's like they want to be a good person. There's a good person inside of you, but you're surrounded by these people. And maybe they're a people pleaser. Maybe they've tried to fit in their whole life. Like this is a wounded person that you are dealing with here. A wounded person. And this energy together too, this is like, I need that validation from other people. So they're like a, a serial cheater. A serial cheater is somebody who like cheats on multiple people. Like, it's almost like they can't not cheat. And it's, and again, I'm not justifying it, but it is that energy of, it makes me feel whole or validated or important or chosen to do it. So, 
I mean, they definitely need, they need more help and support than just you can give them, right? Like therapist, they might even need a, an attorney to sort them out of something. If this is a divorce, okay, they need a, not a strong attorney to fight you, but huh, they need some, they need some support. And I'm not saying you need to be the one that supports them, but the nine of swords, 618, that's angel number from my dad. That card to me, it's not just overthinking. Like it's mental anguish. Like it's, it's not just the anxiety that like regular human beings experience. It's like anxiety that you get diagnosed with as a disorder, you know, and they have it twice with the ace of swords in reverse. Like they're not thinking clearly at all. This is somebody who is operating completely out of ego. So it's like, I don't know what's, what's up, what's down, what's right, what's wrong. And they're going silent too. Your silence is just killing them. Your silence is just absolutely killing them. And they're just making up all these stories in their head about who you're with, what you're doing, who you're doing it with. And they definitely, they're like, you're going to do better without me. You're going to be stronger without me. There's this new side of you that is emerging. It's like, this relationship is the pressure that creates the diamond that is you, right? So it is, I almost don't want to say this because it sounds lame and cliche. It will make you stronger. Like, oh, shut up. I still didn't want to go through it. But, I mean, <sighs> It could. I feel like that's not what I want to say or what you want to hear right now. So we're not, we're just, it's the truth, but we're not there yet. We're, there's still, there's some anger here. There's some, I mean, there's some depression. There's some disappointment. There's secrets that haven't come out. The king and the queen of swords are here and they're side by side. And what's between them is lies, deception covering things up. This person tried to cover shit up. They tried to cover shit up. Honestly, it could be as extreme as like they got somebody else pregnant or they got pregnant from somebody else. So there's like a, a mystery child or like, it's not a mystery child, but that's the words that, that I'm a mystery child. I just don't know. I just don't know. That's lame. I'm going to grab another deck. I just don't know. Seven of Cups, it is about illusion and confusion. I don't know which cup to choose. I don't know which path to go. Like, I mean, this is the perfect card. If I was going to do this whole reading in one card, this would be a pretty good one to use. But that's a nice uh, confirmation. Spirit. I think I need some ad advice. Advice for the viewer. Because this is intense. There is new love on the way after this because you're manifesting somebody that's better than this. I don't want to say that, although I do want to say it. P-O-S. You're manifesting somebody that, that's better than this. Tell me about their intentions, the near future, and get, let me get some guidance. Por favor. You are going to be okay, especially if there's a court situation going on. All you need to do is be cool, calm, and collected, and keep just give it to God. Give it to God. There's that ten of freaking swords again. The hanged man. The page of wands. Okay. <laughs> they feel like there's unfinished business. They want you to try... <laughs> If you could see things from my side, and I'm not saying you should, you have to, whatever. They don't want it to be over. This person is grasping at straws. They want you to try, and they might be selfish right now and be like, I need you to see my side. I need you to see my side, but you need to see your side. Because if they're busy seeing their side and you're busy seeing their side, who's going to see your side? So there is that too. And just in their actions, they don't want to let you go. They don't want to let you go. This page of wands is giving a little bit, I mean, 
could I tempt you with sexuality? Could I tempt you with my charm? But there's so much, there's so much anxiety on the table. I don't think they could be their normal charming self. Like maybe in the beginning they were charming or charismatic or it seems like their potentially like bright personality got cold, got dulled down over time. The advice with this page of wands, it is new. It is about travel. It is about choosing a new path. It is about, you know, there is growth on this stick. Look at this stick. There are some leaves. So you, you're not starting from complete scratch. If you choose to walk away from this person, you will not be starting from complete scratch. And that's what it feels like sometimes the fear is like, I invested so much in this person, in this relationship, in this home, in this, wherever I'm at. I invested a lot in this and it's scary to start over. Am I going to be okay? This page of wands says yes. Yes, it's okay to start over. Now you're starting over with knowledge, with experience, with expertise, with maybe new friends, maybe new networking, maybe new, you know, tactics and ways of, you know, operating through life. Okay, so they want you to do your best to change your perspective on the situation, not so that you can reconcile if you're like, absolutely not, I'm not going to change my perspective to understand them, but change your perspective to be like, endings are okay, walking away is okay, it's okay for me to leave people where they are, it's okay for me to choose me, that type of perspective change. Uh, maybe accepting loss, accepting grief, and, and shifting into, like, I'm excited about new. I'm excited about what's next. There can only be better and new for me. Like, eager and excited and optimistic about the future as you, looks like, are moving away from a shit show of a situation, okay? But that is the energy I have surrounding you and this person. I'm sending lots of love. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And go buy all of my shit. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.